This is question number 29 of IIT JAM Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question is saying. A monopolist is facing a downward sloping linear demand curve, linear market demand. So this is what the monopolist is facing. This is the demand curve. His variable cost of production is zero. So which means that because variable cost is zero, then my marginal cost can also be zero. Because I know that MC is how variable cost changes when input changes, right? Labor changes, capital changes, any input changes. Uh, sorry, how my output changes. So we know that the marginal cost is change in the total cost when output changes, right? So change in total cost when output changes. And this is nothing but change in total variable cost when output changes. But since the variable cost is zero, there is no change in the variable cost when output changes. So this is zero. There is no marginal cost. Now, when we go ahead and we understand the learner's index, we know that the basic thing is that at equilibrium, my, uh, you know, I'll, I'll derive this. So the monopolist, gains profit maximization when MR is equal to MC, right? Now, what is MR? MR is how revenue changes when output changes. What is total revenue? Price into quantity by Q. So if you apply, because you're differentiating total revenue with respect to output, you must apply product rule. Now, if you apply product rule, this is going to mean differentiation of first function into second as it is, plus differentiation of second into first as it is, isn't it? So this is going to mean dp by dq into q plus p. This will be your mr. And if I go ahead and take p common, this will be dp by dq into Q by P plus one, right? If you open this, you'll get exactly this thing. But we know that this is one upon elasticity of demand plus one. This is my MR. And at equilibrium, MR is equal to MC. So this is what my learner's index is, isn't it? So my learner's index is P one upon ED plus one is equal to mc but because my total variable cost is zero my marginal cost automatically becomes zero there is no cost so as output changes the change in the cost will also be zero so marginal cost is also zero so which means p1 upon ed plus one is equal to zero now price cannot be zero you will not sell anything free of cost so if the product of two things is zero and this cannot be zero, one upon ED plus one will be zero. So one upon ED will be minus one. So ED will be minus one. So the elasticity of demand will be minus one. So the monopolist will have a profit maximizing price such that it is unit elastic, right? It will be at the unit elastic point of the demand curve. And where is demand curve unit elastic? Exactly in the midpoint, right? Exactly in the midpoint, it is unit elastic, isn't it? So that would be your profit maximizing price. So the profit maximizing price will be at unitary elastic point of the demand curve. Okay, thank you.